Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to install this Alexa light switch that allows you to control it with voice commands and works as an Alexa speaker. So let's just show you what it can do. Alexa, what's the weather today? In Chicago, it's 83 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Tonight, you can look for mostly clear skies with a low of 69 degrees. Alexa, turn on basement. Alexa, turn off basement. Now we're going to show you how to install this Alexa light switch. The first step to installing an Alexa light switch is to make sure that you have the power cut off to your existing light switch. You can do that by turning off the circuit breaker to this light switch and then confirming that it doesn't turn on or off and that there is no power to any of the lights or any of the other devices in the room. So we've already gone ahead and done that. Now the next thing we can do is remove the existing cover plate. Now that we have the cover plate removed, we can remove the existing light switch by removing these two screws. Now that we have the screws removed, go ahead and pull the light switch forward so you can see the existing wiring. I recommend taking a picture here so that you have everything that you need to wire the new switch in how it should be wired up. So take your picture now and then we're going to remove this existing switch keeping in mind where the existing wires are. Now this Alexa light switch from Leviton requires a hot wire, a neutral wire, and a load wire. So we've got our load wire here which is the wire that goes up to your light bulb or your light fixture. We've got our hot wires down here that are the incoming power and we've got a neutral wire in the junction box down here. You can see that white wire there, that is a neutral wire. So we do have the required wires to install this Lutron Alexa light switch. We're gonna go ahead and remove the electrical tape and then the wiring terminals from this existing light switch. When I'm working on a light switch, I like to pull the wires out as much as possible so that I can work on them as long as I've got a little bit of slack in there, it just makes it a little bit easier. So when I'm working on this, the first thing I'm gonna connect is the hot wire. On the back of this light switch, it does show the designations for the different wires. On this particular switch, it calls the hot wire the align wire. So we're gonna go ahead and connect that first. My two hot wires were these two, so I'm gonna connect those to the black one and use a wire nut to secure it. The next wire we're gonna connect is the neutral wire. So we've got this white wire here. We're gonna connect it to the existing neutral wires in the junction box. Because I'm connecting four wires, I'm gonna use a larger size wire nut here, indicated with this red one. Each type of electrical wire nut has a different color designation, and it will tell you on the side of the package how many wires and what gauge can fit in each type of wire nut. Now the remaining wires we have are the green ground wire, the red load wire, which goes up to the light bulb, and we've got our last wire here, which is a traveler, this yellow wire. The traveler is used for three-way smart light switches, but we don't have a three-way light switch configuration here, so we're just gonna leave that capped off. The next wire that I'm gonna connect is gonna be the load wire, which is connected to the wire that goes up to the load, which is this light bulb. The next wire that we're gonna connect is gonna be this green ground wire. So we're gonna connect it to the unshielded copper wires here, and you may have a green copper wire that is also ground wire in your electrical system. Some of you will have unshielded, some of you will have a green wire. So we're just gonna take our wire nut and connect these four ground wires. Now that we have all of our wires connected, we're gonna go ahead and fold these wires back into the electrical junction box and then start installing the light switch. You wanna make sure that you orient the light switch in the correct direction. For this, this direction is up.
Now that we have the light switch secured to the junction box, we're going to reinstall the cover plate. Now that we have the cover plate installed, we're ready to turn the power back on at the circuit breaker to this light switch. Now we've restored power to this light switch via the circuit breaker. It can now be turned on or off with the push of a button. Once you have the Alexa smart light switch installed, you're gonna to need to set it up on the Leviton app. We've got another video for how to set it up on the Leviton app below. You can just click on that link, but it's a pretty simple process. You just connect this Wi-Fi Alexa light switch to the Leviton app, and then you're gonna be able to control it and set up the Alexa component of this Alexa light switch. This smart light switch has Alexa built in, so we can also control it with voice commands or we control it via the app. So if I go over here to the app, I can go ahead and turn it on or off via the app. I can also adjust the dimming levels through the app. Or you can use Alexa voice commands. Alexa, turn on basement. Alexa, turn off basement. This smart Alexa light switch has a microphone built in here at the top and it actually has a speaker down here at the bottom. You can adjust the dimming levels via voice, the app, and or via the remote right here on the light switch itself. You can also ask it standard Alexa commands like this. Alexa, what's the weather today? Currently in Chicago, it's 83 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today, you can expect mostly sunny weather with a high of 83 degrees and a low of 69 degrees. Alexa, when do the Cubs play? First pitch of a NL Central matchup between the Cubs and the Brewers will be this evening at 6.15 p.m. at Wrigley Field. Overall, this is a neat concept, a smart dimmer that works on Wi-Fi with Alexa built in. So it's like having two devices in one. You have a smart dimmer that can be controlled via an app, or it can be controlled via voice commands, and it has Alexa built in, just like an Echo Dot on your wall. You've got dimming functionality, microphones, and a speaker down here. The one thing to note about this smart light switch is that it does require neutral wire, so you should check that out before you go ahead and install this. It is compatible with three-way Leviton smart dimmers, so if you wanna use it in a three-way switch configuration, you can. We've got links on how to determine if you have a neutral wire below, so go ahead and click on that. Now, if you want to support us, you can click on any of the links below or visit us at our website at onehoursmarthome.com. Thank you for watching, and if you have any comments or questions about this particular light switch, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. This is the Leviton Alexa Wi-Fi Smart Dimmer, and we've got all kinds of information on it down below. Thank you for watching.